Hello everyone and welcome to another reading vlog. It's going to be a bit different from my usual reading vlogs. Usually I do a reading vlog for readathons and this is my first time doing a readathon for one particular book, specifically for one book. And I mean with the book that it is, you know what it is because you clicked on this video, but it's so exciting. It arrived in the post today and I was so excited to read it. It's Gallant by V.E. Schwab. Ah, ah. I am honestly baffled as to how I got an advanced copy of this, but I've got one. So we're going to read it and you're going to join me. Um, so I'm reading this, it's like mid-February at the point of filming, um, but I'm going to upload it on release day. So on the 1st of March, you'll be able to see this reading vlog. Um, I'm so excited to read this book. So excited. It's it's V.E. Schwab. I'm always excited to read her books. Um, and it just sounds so cool. It sounds so cool. So yes, I'm going to be reading it and giving you my spoiler free thoughts and reactions as we go through. I haven't started it yet. I'm going to start it this evening. Um, I've had a little flick through though. It's It's pretty. It's pretty pretty there is artwork inside and I do have some art cards came with the book um, and they're all prints of the artwork that's inside so I might show you some of that along the way as we go so yes today's Monday happy Monday happy whatever day it is that you're watching this um, and let's go read some Gallant hello everyone it is Tuesday and a quick reading update for Gallant so last night before I went to bed I read part one, which is the first four chapters, so just about 40 pages or so, and I am loving it. I'm loving it so much. It's so atmospheric, very sort of dark, and it's kind of given me like a series of unfortunate events, Miss Peregrine's kind of vibes in terms of things just not quite being right. You know, that sort of slightly off kilter, quirky things that you get so so far all that's happened so the main character olivia she is at a sort of boarding school for orphans and she has received a letter this is all on the blurb no spoilers this she has received a letter saying that uh her uncle would like her to come stay with him at his house gallant um but things are not all as they seem we have yet to meet the uncle it's not looking good not looking good. Um, again, that's all on the blurb. No spoilers. This is a spoiler free reading vlog. Um, but I mean, I'm loving it. I am loving it, which I knew I would because it's V.E. Schwab. So I'm having a great time. So yeah, I'll keep you updated. Um, hopefully I'll be able to read a bit in my break at work today. And tomorrow I am out for the whole day uh, in London. But that does mean I've got two very long coach journeys. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be taking this. I might even finish it on the coach because I'm going to be spending a lot of time on the coach. And I'll also take you with me just to see some, see some bits and bobs of London. So yes, that's a quick update from me. Um, I hope you're all very well. I will update you once I've read some more. Good evening, everyone. It's a poorly lit quiet update for you because it is half past 11 on a Tuesday night um I just got back um but I wanted to update you because I'm about a third of the way through I've read another 50 pages or so um but I have a feeling I'll probably finish the book before I next get a chance to update you uh if I do manage to finish it sort of on on route somewhere tomorrow I am loving it so far it's so atmospheric. It took it took a few chapters for me to kind of get into the groove of it, but it is so atmospheric and beautifully written and so spooky and eerie and we don't really know what's going on and I'm just I'm loving it. I have a very like I don't know when it comes to gothic stories sometimes I love them and sometimes I'm just like Meh. this is a love it I love it I'm obsessed um I probably won't read any more tonight because I have to be up very early tomorrow um 
but I thought I would just give you a quick update in case I do finish it tomorrow that I've, I've sort of updated you. Things are happening, the mystery is building. Um, I feel like the intrigue is really, really building now. Like we don't really know what's going on. We don't know how we've got to this point, but more things are starting to happen and they're just bringing up more questions. So I'm loving it. I'm gonna take you along with me tomorrow, um, but it will mostly be a lot of B-roll. <laughs> um, so yeah, I will catch you up tomorrow. Um, also, on an unrelated note, drag race tonight. Uh, so, I know that this is going online in like two weeks time, uh, but UK versus the world musical was tonight. Um, what a time it was, what a time. Um, so if you watch Drag Race, let me know in the comments. I see. I seem to be the minority, judging by Twitter, in that I think the right person went home. Um, so let's have a chat about Drag Race. Who knows who will still be in the competition when this goes live? Who knows? But yeah, we will. See. We will. See. We will see. Right, I will update you next time there is something to update you about. And I have a horrible feeling the light is going to go all wibbly on this because it's low light. We'll see. ta -ra for now. <laughs>
beautiful, stunning artwork. Um, I'd never even spotted it until I put it up in front of the camera. It's funny, isn't it? You see things in front of a camera, they look different. Um, the face here and the hand here, it's not that obvious when you just, because I was like looking at the house. Oh, amazing. I'm going to have to get frames for these because they are just beautiful um, and just added so much to the story as well. Uh, I don't know who the artist is. Um, let me see if it says. It does not say anywhere on any, like in the book or on the promotional stuff I was sent, um, doesn't say who the artist was, which makes me think it might be V.E. Schwab, which would be amazing. I love that sort of thing. Um, but also there's no like cover credit in this because it's an arc. Um, so either way, I don't know who the artist is, but the art is beautiful. It really added to the story. Um, it was just so wonderful and so immersive. The main character, I thought she was such a good kind of understated character. She, um, so she is, she has mutism. She does not talk. She communicates using sign language. And even though she does not talk, she doesn't think in full sentences, if that makes sense. Like it's never like Olivia thought something in quotation marks because, you know, that would be kind of like, you know, not lazy writing, but sort of lazy writing. Um, she never does that, but you still understand and know the character so well from the very, very get-go. And the things that you would consider to be spooky aren't necessarily the spookiest thing that's going on. There's just always something else to uncover and reveal. And as I said, I don't know if I said this before, I'm very picky about my ghost stories, but this one knocked it out of the park. It really did. It was just the perfect balance for me of everything I love in a ghost story. So I loved it. Thank you so much to the publishers for sending me this. I'm sure you sent it by mistake because I have like no followers, but thank you. <laughs> Please send me more if you have more, I would love them. <laughs> um, but yeah, I this book was amazing. If you enjoy V.E. Schwab's writing, just do yourself a favor and get this book. It was so good. Thank you for joining me on this reading adventure, this reading vlog. And if you are planning on reading Gallant, or if you've read it already, let me know what, you, what your thoughts were, what you're excited about. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Ta-ra for now!